welcome to this video on the law of signs. Uh, so far, all of our work has been revolving around solving situations where we're dealing with right triangles. However, not all the triangles we'll run into are right. So this is one of the more popular methods and quicker methods to deal with triangles that are not right triangles, entitled the law of signs. So it will be focusing around using the sine function. So let's uh, begin this. The law of sines is three proportions that are equivalent to one another. And they go like this. We say that the sine of angle A divided by side A is equivalent to the sine of angle B over side B, which is equivalent to the sine of angle C over side C. So every one of these ratios is an, uh, an angle side pair, as I refer to it. So for instance, angle A is paired up with side A. And likewise, angle C is paired up with side C, and angle B is paired up with side B. Equivalently, I could take the reciprocals of each of those ratios. Uh, and sometimes that works out nicer for solving problems. Uh, you don't have to use these. Most of the time I don't. I just use the first set of proportions, but sometimes it's a little bit cleaner to look at them this way. Okay, so uh, our first case will be the angle-angle side or angle-side angle case. So in this situation, I'm going to make a rough sketch of the triangle. It doesn't have to be accurate, uh, but it will help me organize our mathematics. So here's my triangle. I'm going to put the given angle, B, up top here, and that is 118 degrees. And then I've got angle C, which it says is 36 degrees, and then side C. I want to make sure that I put side C across from angle C. So this will be side C, which is 14 inches. And then I've got um, side B will have to be across from angle B, and the leftover angle, A, will go there with left A over side being across from it, that'll be side A. So now I want to solve for all the missing angles and all of the missing sides. It is paramount to first identify if you are given an angle side pair, because that's going to unlock everything else. So I will first say that, oh, well, I've got angle C and side C. That is my angle side pair, and I will use that to solve for most of my other missing information. So let's set that up. I will say that the sine of 36 divided by 14, using that ratio, is equal to the sine of 118 over side B. Then I'll use the cross product property, so I'm going to multiply across, so B times the sine of 36 is equal to 14 times the sine of 118. Then I divide both sides by the sine of 36 to leave side B by itself. Sine 36. And so B, I'm going to go over to my graphing calculator here. And I'm going to make sure, since I'm dealing with degrees, that my mode is on degrees. And then I go ahead and I type in, oh, let me get out of here, I type in 14 times the sine of 118. Divided by the sine of 36. Enter, and we have an answer of 21.03, 21.03. Now, I still have not found, so that's B, the side B, I still have not found angle A or side A. And I have neither of the parts of that angle side pair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, triangle angle sum theory, which says that all of the angles in a triangle add to 180 to find that missing angle A. So the measure of angle A, I know, 
will be uh, 180 minus 118 minus 36. All right, so what does that give me? That gives me, go over my calculator, do this in our head, but why push the issue? 180 minus 118 minus 36. And we are left with 26 degrees. That's the measure of angle A. All right, so the last thing I have to find, now that I have A, so I've got the missing side B, I've got the missing angle A, now I have to find that missing, uh, missing side A. And I'm going to use that same angle pair with C to start things off, just in case I made a mistake with B. I don't want to repeat that mistake. So I'm going to go in and we will find the measure of side A. So again, I take that sine of 36 over 14, just like I started with uh, to find my other missing side, uh, is equal to the sine of 26 over side A. And again, we cross multiply. So I have A times the sine of 36 is equal to 14 times the sine of 26 and divide by the sine of 36. Divide by the sine of 36. All right, and we are left with A is equal to, let's plug it in our calculator. So I've got 14 times the sine of 26 divided by the sine of 36. Enter. We get A being equal to 10.4 approximately. And there we are. We've solved for all of our missing sides and angles of this non-right triangle using the law of sines.